So, I was doing some more experimenting with the uh, Jewel Ringer crossover circuit. Um, I've got the circuit connected to the ground here. This just goes to a copper pipe right outside my shed. Um, I do have a full wave rectifier here. People have been asking about the capacitor. It is a 50 volt uh, 10,000 UF capacitor. So 50 volt 10,000 microfarad capacitor. But yeah, so anyway, I've got this circuit set up and something really interesting, folks. I decided I was going to hook up my uh, multimeter um, coming off here to measure the current input. And uh, what was really fascinating is I was able to disconnect the uh, current and the circuit uh, kept oscillating for a far greater time than I ever would have imagined it could run off this uh, capacitor. And uh, of course that really fascinated me. And I was trying to figure out you know what was going on. It took me the longest time before I realized that what was really going on was the power supply sitting here was providing a uh, 50 hertz oscillation frequency through the air to my battery packs over here. This this uh, Jewel Ringer crossover circuit is so sensitive to external uh, energy input from the environment and things that it's it's just really something, folks. You'd have to experiment with it to. Uh, to get an idea of what I'm talking about, but let me uh, just take the power supply here and move it away from the circuit. You can see that as I bring the power supply near this battery pack, the circuit comes on. Now the power supply is on, but I'm going to turn it off. The power supply is now off, and uh, same effect. And in fact, I'm going to flip the, uh, the power off here completely. So now now this is just the ground return line uh, coming through the AC line here and it's next to the battery pack. And that's it folks. I, it, my power is switched off here in the uh, shed. Actually if I touch this with my body it also adjusts it. But now now I'm not even touching it. The, uh, the power supply is just resting next to the battery pack and this lights going away so it's just getting a pickup um, through the air from the ground line. I'm going to flip the light back on here and see the configuration again. The battery packs are just resting here. And again, power supply is turned off. Turned on, it makes a, a little difference when it's off or on, and that's probably because of the transformer that's in the power supply um, comes on and provides it a little more signal there. But, you know, turned off, completely off and it's still oscillating. So that gave me an idea to ex do some experiments with an inverter um, to provide you know the, uh, the 50 to 60 Hertz there. So anyway very interesting stuff. Turn that back on. So yeah this whole time the uh, capacitor has been uh, disconnected. Well I've got one leg connected to the battery pack here but the, uh, the negative side is completely disconnected and this thing is just ringing on and on just picking up um, the uh, the 60 Hertz for, from through the air off from this switched off power supply and then over here to the ground line this ground uh, doesn't go to the house mains or anything it's pounded into the ground um, right over in the corner outside my shed it's just a, like three feet of copper pipe it's just pounded into the ground out there and uh, Okay, so I've got the power supply out of here. Um, the circuit's just as it was before. One thing to notice is that if I touch one of the input lines to the capacitor, the light just starts flickering away. So that's just from the uh, electricity, the stray current in this room that my body's picking up and uh, carrying to the circuit. So this circuit is incredibly sensitive to uh, being excited um, from anything in your environment. So that of course got me thinking about taking a, um, a DC inverter and trying a few experiments with that. So let me show you what I did. Okay, <clears throat> so I've got the LED light connected um, coming off the inverter. So I'm going to connect to the inverter plug here. Just one of the prongs. Doesn't matter which one. Running through the LED light to the ground. 
N nothing, just as you'd expect. The only way it was going to get any light would be is would be if I crossed over to the uh, other connection in the inverter. Um, that's that makes perfect sense. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to run this through the circuit to the ground. So one second here. Okay, so now I've got the circuit. I've got the inverter here, and I'm going to connect the. Um, this is just the negative line off the capacitor to one side of the inverter here. You see the light comes right on. Um, very interesting. Very, very interesting because this this earth ground outside is in no way connected to the, um, the other prong out of this inverter. So this is just providing the 50 to 60 hertz uh, signal into the circuit. Um, so you can see that the inverter is pulling 328 milliamps and 300 or 327 to 328, whether or not the um, load's connected. And uh, that's because the inverter is just providing the uh, signal needed to get this circuit oscillating. So um, connected to the inverter, the lights on. Um, again, only one prong of the inverter. I know uh, Watts up over on overunity.com uh, forum will be interested in that. He's done some experimenting along that line. But uh, yeah, it's completely transparent as far as the load goes to the inverter. Um, the inverter's milliamp input just remains the same, regardless of whether or not that light's plugged in. But, you know, connected to the ground over here, and we get nice light. I disconnect the ground, it goes right out. So, connect the ground back up, comes on. Very, very interesting. Um, one other thing to notice is that my body can function as a ground for the circuit as well. I can just hold this here, so. An actual earth ground isn't necessary. So at this point, we're coming off the line from the inverter through the jewel ringer um, crossover circuit and just to my body and we have this amount of light very very interesting so that's it folks that thing will just run and run like that um, so I'm going to <laughs> I'm going to wind a uh, a better coil. This is just one of my coils that I use have used in past experiments. But I'm going to really push this, see what I can get out of this. Um, this this configuration has really really got my interest. So let's keep experimenting. Cool stuff.